Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. Um, today I'm gonna actually teach you guys how to distress your uh, boring ass leather jacket and make it badass looking like a post apocalyptic Mad Maxi feel and whatnot and whatevs. So, just wanna let you know um, what the fuck just happened? I've always been interested in the post apocalyptic clothing style and um, I've always wanted to make my own and I finally tried and attempted to do a couple things. I learned it from Nuclear Snail, awesome awesome page. The link will be on the comments below but if you guys want to stick around to watch my video and how I did my, uh, how I fixed my jacket, do it up. <laughs> So here's a before and after picture of your jacket. You know, it's like typical and boring. It's all black. Oh, look at me. I got a cool black jacket. Uh. And then BAM! Nuclear explosion mode and it got all epic and shit got real look. Shit got real. Here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need acetone which removes the dye from the jacket. You need some gloves to protect your hands. Uh, paper towels so you can rub into acetone dirt to make the jacket look old, pillows to stuff inside the jacket, towels to stuff inside the sleeves of the jacket, rope so you can pull the jacket around, oil to lock in that dirt on the jacket's pores, and duct tape. So right now what we're going to do is uh, protect our zippers by putting duct tape on them. Why are we going to do this? Because we're going to beat the crap out of these jackets and in the long run it's going to be a good thing that we put this uh, duct tape on the zippers because uh, replacing zippers on a leather jacket is a pain in the ass. Um, I'm not a tailor, uh, I'm not a professional, but I'll tell you it's a pain in the ass and you don't want to deal with it later on. So you're going to put it on the zipper and you're going to put it on the receiving end part of the zipper as well because that's very important so that they can hug each other so it's gonna look like this and then that boom ba -da -ba -ba. and your zipper's protected there we go outside look for a concrete surface uh, where you can uh, rub your jacket onto uh, first we're gonna lay down the dirt on there um, the concrete basically works as uh, a big ginormous sandpaper. Uh, now we're putting the dirt down so that while we're rubbing, the dirt uh, goes into the jacket's pores. Before we do all that, we need to rub in the acetone. Do 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 do. I got childproof motherfucker. There you go. Uh, put the acetone on the paper towel. Rub it on there. Rub it on there good. You'll notice that the dye actually comes off while you're rubbing it in. So you're gonna rub the jacket onto the concrete as hard as you can. And I did this for like two to three hours until I was actually happy with the jacket. So you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, and it's gonna be painstakingly uh, annoying. Um, so while you're doing it, always apply the acetone here and there to remove the dye while you're uh, doing this action. Rubbing all this shit onto the jacket. That was a pain in the ass. My neighbors were watching me like I'm an idiot. Okay, so how it looks like now. It looks pretty good. So I decided to wear the jacket um, and to give it that more uh, natural look by making dirt snow angels. Bam! Dirt snow angel. And. Yeah, I felt like an idiot doing this, but I, f I thought at the time that it was going to do something because I was uh, hitting a lot more of the jacket's areas. Um, after a while, I just uh, felt like an idiot. Because look at me. Look at Driving by and seeing a guy rubbing himself on the ground as he was in heat or some shit would be like, what the fuck is he doing? So if you want to do that, do that, but I did it, and um, here we go, America. And I basically gave up after that, I was like, no, screw this, I'm done. Introducing special guest, Trax the Bully! Da -da -da. I told you, be creative, right? So I told him to pull my jacket. 
And this was the only time he pulled a jacket once. And um, after that, he's like, nah, bro, I'm gonna kill you, or I'm gonna poop on your couch when you leave the house. Not a good idea. The Jack's idea wasn't a good idea, so I decided to go on a road trip, find a place where there's more dirt and more ways for me to beat the crap out of my jacket. And here we go, road trip! If anybody's familiar with Philadelphia, there's this half pipe in FDR Park. I decided to go back and forth on there and basically rub myself onto the half pipe. The half pipe is known to have uh, rust and dirt already all over it. So I thought at the time it was a great idea to just naturally drag myself onto the half pipe. Um, it was a pain in the ass to go back and forth uh, with this jacket on because it's it's hard uh, you can't really crunch down you can't get any air or nothing uh, it prevented me from doing it so I just kept on sliding back and forth and after that I just got tired by this time you can see that the jacket looks like it's worn and torn but I wasn't really satisfied yet on how it looked so right now I'm stuffing um, like uh, towels into the sleeves of the jacket to give uh, the sleeve some volume as well as um, putting a pillow in the main on the main part of the jacket so that it, it gives it that whole body look uh, and uh, what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna drag this jacket with uh, my, my van um, and you're gonna put the rope around the pillow um, because if you put it on the um, jacket hook, it'll actually break off. So make sure to put that around the pillow. Before we drag the jacket, make sure to put acetone all over uh, the jacket just to give it that uh, dab and remove the, um, the dye. And just uh, because we're gonna beat it up. And BAM! The jacket is prepped, ready to be pulled by the van. Alright! And then I um, connect it to the van, and we're off! Da -da -da. This is actually a, um, the best uh, way to distress a jacket, because it's not that hard to do. Um, it also hit it in every angle and it gave it that... Um, natural look as if you were dragging a dead body across the desert um, just make sure to flip it Bam. so you got both sides after that I went straight gangster on it Gah! where's my money bro where's my money give me my money uh uh give me my money bro where's my money yep after that, went straight Olympic on it! Uh, I'm Hercules! I'm making dirt circles! Uh, uh, and I fell. Yeah. Don't forget to flip it! Flip the jacket! And... Circles again! After all that, I was content with the jacket and how it got beat up, so I'm doing my final step, which is spraying it down with vegetable oil. What this does, it actually locks in the dirt on the jackets and the jackets pores. While you're doing this, you can also throw down dirt and rub it in as hard as you can. Um, each jacket is different, so it's up to you how much um, vegetable oil you put on the jacket. Um, I decided to also stand it up and go around it in a circle and do dabs here and there. And boom. Here's the end result of the jacket. Thanks a lot guys for uh, watching my video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe guys. Here you go.